Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, I am going to be doing my what I got for Christmas video. I am doing it a little late because as many of you guys know, I got COVID and then me and Gabe had to wait to give each other our gifts until yesterday when I didn't have COVID anymore. So this video is a little late, but I still had a lot of you guys asking for me to do it. So I figured I would still do it for you guys. A little disclaimer, this is not me bragging in any way, shape or form. I'm very thankful for all of the things that I got from my family and my friends. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I got for Christmas. I'm not gonna show you like every individual little thing because sometimes little things, it just makes the video a little too long. So I'm just gonna show like the bigger things. So I got the Animal Crossing Monopoly. I love Monopoly. I've loved playing it since I was a kid. Since since I live by myself, I don't really play board games anymore because I can't really play with myself, but I love Animal Crossing, as many of you guys know, and I love Monopoly, so these two things put together makes my heart happy. So yeah, this is Animal Crossing Monopoly. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry that you guys can hear the dogs eating in the background. They decided that they wanted to start eating while I was filming, which they do every single time. But instead of having like Monopoly, like money, you have like Nook coins and stuff like that. This next thing is probably my most favorite thing that I got for Christmas this year from my sister. I was not expecting it. It was a really, really good gift. And it is this Monster High doll coffin set. As many of you guys know, I'm obsessed with Monster High. I have loved the movies since I was younger when they first started coming out. And me and my sister really, really love Monster High. Like literally two of my cats are named after Twyla and Spectra from the movies. She found an inbox, Draculaura. I love Draculaura. Definitely like one of my favorite characters from the whole franchise. And it's still inbox and it is from 2010. She got it from eBay. And like, I hate taking it out of the box, but I'm gonna actually use this and display it, not in the box. So as you can see, it's a jewelry holder. The bottom part of it is the coffin for her to lay in. And then the top part is the actual like jewelry section, as you can see. So you put your jewelry up here and then she can like lay in the coffin because she is a vampire. And I am obsessed with that. And I just love it so much. Next for some random little things. I got these Hocus Pocus spatula and spoon set from my grandma. These are super cute. She also got me this little Halloween bear. She got me this like, makeup brush and beauty sponge set, which I can always have more beauty sponges because you go through them like crazy. She got me this little sign that says witch with attitude and then a candle and also a gift card for Amazon, which I've already spent. She also got me one of these grow kits. This is a time grow kit. One of the big ones. I haven't seen the big ones before. Basically you can grow thyme, the herb inside of it. So that's really cool. I'm excited for this. Then we got some Nightmare Before Christmas pants. And then she also got me a pack of Nightmare Before Christmas socks. Um, I'm actually wearing some of them right now. I've already worn all of them, so I don't have them to show you. But then she got me some black mittens because it's been pretty cold outside. And then I also got this pack of lip glosses. Totally gives me Claire's or Justice vibes and I love them. And then she also got me a black like sweater cardigan thing. Okay, I think that's all the things my grandma got me. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, uh, lastly, she got me this bath bomb gift set. Cruelty-free bath bombs, love that. Haven't used them yet. I've literally been waiting to film this video so I can use these bath bombs but they're like in lemon, ocean waves, vanilla sugar, strawberry and cream, cherry blossom, rose petals, beach vacation. Then starting with the stuff from my parents, I got this um, colander, I think that's how you say it. Um, I've been wanting this fancy one. I have another one that I use that's pretty good, but this one like sits in the top of your sink like this, so it doesn't have to touch your sink when you're like draining pasta or cleaning veggies and stuff like that. So this is like a really nice, one that like sits on to your sink. Then my parents got me these multifunctional wash drain basket storage containers. This is what they look like. They were on my Amazon wish list. The reason why I wanted them is because they're really good for veggies after you clean them. Since they have that basket inside of them, the water kind of drains away from the veggies if your veggies are still a little wet and it helps them 
stay better longer. And for me having as many animals as I do that eat vegetables, it's really nice to have containers that keep them fresh longer. All right, then I got a Barnes and Noble gift card. I unfortunately was sick when Barnes and Noble was doing the 50% off hardback sale dying a little inside that I missed that sale because I could have gotten so many hardcover books for so cheap, but I still have my Barnes and Noble gift card. So hopefully I can be able to go soon. Next, I have this really cute Switch cartridge holder. Holds 16 Switch games. I love the way this looks. It reminds me of Sailor Moon. I don't think it is Sailor Moon, but really cute nonetheless. Then my parents got me this Switch game. So I have this on my Amazon wish list because I've never seen anybody actually play this before and I figured it would be a fun Twitch stream to do because as soon as I get my new desk set up, which should be in the next vlog you guys will see, um, I'm going to be setting up my new desk and finally starting to live stream again. So I got this Switch game called Colors Live and it's an art game. It literally comes with an art pen and you like do art quests, to, like get to the next level and there's like art tutorials and you, know, you can also like share your art on their website. Really cool. I mean, I don't really know how good it's going to be because I've never seen anybody review it before, but I figured it would be a really fun thing to try for Twitch or a video. So let me know if you guys would like to see this. Then I got some books from my sister because books are like my favorite gift that you can get me. So I got The Righteous by Renee Audier. It's upstairs, but I've already read it. So good. And then I got The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I've already read this book and I loved it. So I wanted it physically. Then from one of my subscribers, I got It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Haven't read this yet. This is from Anna Torres. So thank you so much, Anna or Anna for sending me this book. I wasn't sure if it was a Christmas gift or not, but it was really sweet. So I figured I'd show it in this video. Then I got Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I love this book. I read it last year. Five out of five stars. I literally want to reread it again this year and annotate the whole thing. And then I also got The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I've watched the movie. I hated the movie. I know that's like kind of an unpopular opinion. A lot of people really liked the movie, but I wanted to read the book to see if I liked it better. So I haven't read it yet. Those are the books that I got for Christmas. All romance books because I have a adult romance obsession right now and I can't stop reading romance books, so. And I got this really cute steering wheel cover. After this video, I'm gonna go put it on my wheel immediately. It is so cute. All right, from White Elephant Gifts at my grandparents' house. Um, my White Elephant gift that I got was a frother, glass mug, and coffee. So it's a barista gift set. I've never owned a frother before and I've been wanting to learn how to make like cappuccinos and lattes and stuff like that. So this is really cool to get actually. I was pretty happy about it. Now starting with the stuff that Gabe got me that we exchanged gifts last night. So the first thing is this Nightmare Before Christmas Silk Touch Throw with Sherpa Back. Um, anybody who knows me knows I'm like obsessed with the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like my comfort movie. Yeah, this is like a really, really soft blanket too, like a really thick one. And it's just the iconic cover there. So I'm excited. I'm probably going to use this in my um, office, but I'm not too sure yet. I might use it down here because I really like it. And he also got me the whole Nightmare Before Christmas ColourPop makeup collection. So I have been obsessed with this collection and also the Powerpuff Girls one. I'm gonna hopefully buy the Powerpuff Girls one soon if it's still in stock. But if you guys didn't know, ColourPop came out with this makeup collection and I am absolutely obsessed with the packaging. I'm not going to take it all out and show you, but there are pictures out there. We have a trio of shadows. I don't even know how to use half of these things. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of gel. So I'm gonna have to learn. This is a lipstick slash ornament. There was three lipsticks. So here's the other one. It's like, there's like a nude one, a dark red and a bright pink. Then here is a blending sponge. This is the eyeshadow palette. Can we just talk about the packaging? Like ColourPop really did that. Then we have two eyeliners or liquid eyeliners. One is black and one is white. I've never owned white eyeliner before and I'm really excited to experiment with it. And then in here we have glitter gel. I have no idea what you're supposed to use with glitter gel. It's like a really like pastel glitter gel. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that. So that is the little makeup kit. It also came with these like crystals that you can like stick on your face, which are cute. And then he also got me this Nightmare Before Christmas music box. I already have one similar to this, but this one actually looks a little bit different 
This one has like the movie printed on it. And then he got me this cute like Ouija board shirt right here. Socks, I got so many cute socks for Christmas this year. Like, you know, you're an adult when you start getting obsessed with getting socks for Christmas, but oh my gosh, they're literally so cute. He got me a big pack of Animal Crossing stickers. And then lastly, his mom got me these earrings and these are so cute. Like I love my like dark goth looks. And then I'm also like completely different on the scale with being obsessed with pastel and like pink things. So this one is perfect. I mean, look at these like little strawberry milk ones right here. So cool. And I believe these are from Hot Topic. Abe got me these Coraline earrings and they're all mismatched. I love wearing mismatched earrings. Of course, I'm not wearing mismatched today, but I usually do. These are like probably one of my favorite earring sets ever. I have been wanting this, but last time I was gonna buy them, they were out of stock. So I am so excited to wear these. Like the little key and the cat, like, oh my God, it's so cute. So these are from Hot Topic, I believe. And I think the shirt and the socks and everything is too. Okay, so I think that's everything, like the main stuff that I got for Christmas. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything. I tried to keep it all in this area so I could remember to show you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to comment down below um, what your favorite thing was that you got for Christmas and like what your favorite thing of in this video that I showed you. Let me know what you liked the most of what I showed. Um, definitely my favorite thing is the Monster High doll. And I also probably have to say that the um, Nightmare Before Christmas makeup, pretty, pretty good. Cause I've been wanting that for a while now. I really loved everything that I got. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for being patient with me while being sick. I feel a lot better now, as you guys can see. I'm still a little out of breath, but I think that I healed pretty well. I only felt bad for like the first two or three days and then I felt a lot better. I'm just super tired. So thank you guys so much for the well wishes. Stay tuned um, on the main channel. I've been filming a vlog. Um, like when I first got COVID like the first day and then I'm still vlogging from then. So the next vlog should be me like setting up my desk. And I also um, got a MacBook Air, like I bought a used one. So I'm going to be unboxing that in the next vlog that you guys will see. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to check out my Patreon down below if you guys would like to support me in a separate space. In the Patreon, you get early access videos and pictures of my life decorating the house, my animals, all of that stuff. And I also have a Discord that you can join with a lot of positive, amazing people if you'd like to make some new friends. And then I also have all of my social medias down below as well if you'd like to follow me on my social medias. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.